Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial we're going to be building the AC Mark IV tank. The AC-4, Australian Cruiser Tank Mark IV, was a cruiser tank designed in Australia in World War II as the intended successor to the AC-3 Thunderbolt. Like its precursors, the AC-4 was to have a one-piece cast turret and hull. The AC-4's most important characteristic would be the use of a 17-pounder and tank gun. Now just for a quick look around the build before we get started building, it's actually pretty long, so it's comparable size to a Sherman, but just a little longer. It's got mainly because of the engine deck in the back, but that's about it. It does have a grindstone, uh, is that what these are called? Yeah, grindstone wheels, just like the Kami we did uh, yesterday. So we're going to be doing a layer zero through that in there. Other than that, it shouldn't be too complicated or anything, so let's get started. For our layer number zero, we're going to take some nether bricks and build a line of, rather destroy a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and replace these blocks with some nether brick. And now we can move on to layer one. To begin our first layer, I'm going to just take a placer block, and we're going to be doing the um, idler wheels, with the grindstones. So I'm uh, just winging it at this point so just trying to get him facing like this I guess and with one block in between just like that and for the last one just like that and in between each of the sets of grand stones we're going to take black carpet and just place them on the nether brick in between them. After that's done, we take nether brick slab, just place two, one upper, one lower, in the front and back. Now we can move on to the floor. So we're going to take some spruce trapdoors and place a row of one. Whoops, come on. There we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So one behind the last grindstone, and then begin on the first grindstone. And of course, two more rows. Once you have that done, that'll finish up layer two, and we can move on to layer. Oh, nope, one more thing. Forgot, uh, place iron frames on every single one of the grindstones to finish up the wheels and place inside some green terracotta and that'll finish up layer two to begin the second layer we're going to take some green terracotta place down one on the first middle uh, spruce trapdoor and build a row of one two three four five six seven eight and nine just like before and at the back one upside down spruce stair, and in the front, one mossy composting mall. Now to the side, we're going to place down one more mossy composting mall with a spruce on in front. Like that. And then we're going to take some black wool, build two, one green terracotta, two black wool. One green terracotta, uh, three black wool, and a third spruce stair, upside down right in the back. So you should have a row three. Now, if you're wondering why there's some black wool kind of thrown in there, it's because if you look at it from the side, I'll look at this one. If you look at it from the side, you'll see that the nether brick slab is representing the uh, upper part of the track and building these black wool into the hole kind of makes it look like it there's a just a little bit more so that's what it looks like yes there is uh, some black bowl kind of right in the front it is a little slightly obvious but uh, it can it can barely see it and with my shooters it's kind of kind of blends in with the shadow so it's not too bad i think it's a 
neat little thing, brings out some detail on the side, so let's move on. Now once you have the middle three rows done, we're going to work on the tracks. Place down one green terracotta off to, the side, off to either side of the row of three musty cumbersome moles. And we're going to take into the brick stair. Let's just hold that. Um, we're going to use it in just a little bit. Place down one of the brick stair right in the front of the green terracotta block. Place down an item frame. You want to place inside of a cobweb. And don't forget a stone button as well. So item frame, stone button, and a cobweb. And just tick it once so it looks like this. Next, we're going to take our spear stairs, go into sneak mode real quick, and just place two facing towards each other, if I can, like that, then another brick slab, another brick up slab, and that's just going to carry on this pattern all the way back, two spears facing towards each other, then one another brick slab off the green terracotta, Except once you get to here, we're going to take a grindstone and an end frame. We're going to place the grindstone off this last stair. And I think we put an item frame. Yes, we do. Okay. One item frame. Green terracotta inside of it. We're also going to take a spruce sign. Place one on this very last stair and place one on this grindstone. So now you should have something that looks like this. And now we're going to take our last few blocks, another brick stair, with a spruce sign right in the back. And that, I believe, sums up uh, layer 2. And we can move on to layer 3. To begin the third layer, we're going to take some spruce trapdoors. I already messed up, so. Okay, three spruce trapdoors on this first row of blocks. And to the side, we're going to take some green carpets, one, and two in the front. Now behind the row of three spruce trap doors, we're going to place down one spruce slab right in the middle. To the right, one another spruce slab, and to the left, a spruce stair. To the other side of these, we're going to place down a spruce trap door, go into sneak mode, and item frame. And inside of it, a white stained glass for the lights. Moving on, we're going to take some green terracotta, placed on row 3, another row of 3, another row of 3, and a fourth row of 3. So you should have a 3x4 block behind this uh, spruce trap door. We're going to place down one green carpet and take our Mossy cobblestone walls. Place down one, two, and three. And we're also going to take our spray signs. Place them right off the mossy cobblestone walls. Next, going out from the back, uh, if, if you want to place an engine, you just destroy this uh, green terracotta block. And just put in an anvil, an anvil like this. They really gotta turn down that sound. It sounded really loud. Anyway, place down row three spruce trapdoors on the back of the last row of three green terracotta. Take some spruce stairs, another row of three, and then just wrap it out, wrap it up from the side, a quarter stair in the corner. Then behind the row of Five spruce stairs, row of five spruce slabs, then to either side, a uh, spruce trap door, and then a green carpet, or rather a row of three green carpets. And that, I believe, will do it for layer three. And we can move on to the turret. To begin with the turret, which is layer four, we're going to take a green terracotta. Place it one block behind the first row of three green terracotta from the last layer. And place uh, furthermore one, two, and three more green terracotta blocks. 
Now there's a little factory thing that is written. Okay, it's BK T125. So just put that in. Oh, it is uh, first layer. I mean, first row. First row. BK T. Whoops. T125. There we go. And then we're going to take our space stairs, place that backwards one to either side of this green terracotta block, and place one to the side of this second to last green terracotta block. Green terracotta block. Uh, yep, just making sure it's right. And then a green terracotta block. Also a spear sign to either side. And then a spear stair. Just facing outwards like this. And then I believe it should be a spree stair. Yes. Okay, one spree stair. Right in front of this first green tire cutter block. Place a zombie head to either side. And the barrel, I believe, is a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six. And one dark oak slab. Just gonna take out my magic wand to make sure that's correct. Looks a little bit too long. Okay, nope, the barrel is just five. So a five slap out barrel and an upside down spruce stair. And that'll do it for the fourth layer. We can move on to the last layer now. To finish off the AC Mark IV, we're gonna take two green carpets, just place them down like that. Uh, then a spruce slab, place one down, and then a spruce trap door to the side. Now to the left side, we're going to place down uh, one spruce slab, but to the right side, we're going to make a 2x2 two two, uh, kind of stair thing that looks like that for the commander's hatch, I think. Yeah, let's see if I know how to do it, which is not probable. Something like... No. Come on. Yes, and nailed it. Okay. And I believe one more space lab to the side. One more in the back. And on these spree stairs, corner stairs, I think. Yep. There's going to be two iron bars going up. And that, I believe, will finish off our Australian Cruiser Tank Mark IV. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Yeah,